so glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you, this audience is so jazzed up yeah. for all of the newness that's going on around here. There's a lot of newness going yes, on. Things Changed since I saw you the I last know. time. I know. There's a lot of a lot of different stuff going on. You know, since I saw you last, now you've you've come out of the jacket. I didn't know you were so fit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Well, yeah. But I didn't know there was so much going on <laughs> under the jacket. There's a lot going on under there. <laughs> yes, I've been. I like to keep it. I don't want to expose too much skin because it's so pale. People will will be blinded ah. by the paleness. Ah. Yeah. It's like a newt opening a rock, and a newt struggles out and. It's hard now, to look some at. people want to see it. Trust me. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for joining us. It is. Uh, it's. Uh, it, we're going to have a great show. We got a lot going on today. Um, we, there, it's Fashion Week in New York, so there's a lot of celebrities in town. So we actually have a mystery guest who's going <gasps> to join us. Ooh. We don't know who it is. Uh, they're going to join us at the photo booth backstage in just uh, in just a moment. Um, yesterday's show. I don't know if you saw yesterday's show. You were watching. I know. It's kind of a daze to me. It went by so fast. <laughs> And I'm still trying to figure out Tan Mom because she was here and I didn't know what was going on with her. There was a lot going on and, and I'm you still... Had, you had a lot going on, had honey period, boo -boo between yeah. Tan Mom, Honey Boo Boo, and then you got a wonderful Slurpee machine. I got a Slurpee machine. Yeah, you had a, <laughs> right, yeah. You had a lot going... Where's anyway, my Slurpee, by the way? Well, we can get you a Slurpee if you want one. Tan Mom kept talking, though, even before, after the interview is over, so there's more content online at AndersonCooper.com if you have any interest in, in watching. If you can try to figure out what was going on, maybe you can email me and tell me, because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what, the, uh, what that was all about. You have to re-air it and put the Chiron underneath the bottom. Uh, yeah, we need something. Um, it, it, yeah, right. It's also, obviously, uh, September 11th, and of course, on this day, uh, we remember, and, and of course, the nation remembers uh, all those who lost their lives on September 11th. We're looking at a live shot right now uh, the uh, the World Trade Center Memorial, uh, where folks have gathered, of course, as they do every year. And frankly, it's something we think about every single day here in New York City. Um, and there was actually some good news to report uh, in the news uh, on this subject that for the first time last night, finally, after 11 years, um, the, the for the first responders who responded to Ground Zero, uh, they finally decided to cover, to medically cover the 58 different types of cancers. <laughs> that the first responders have had. And I, I think it's pretty stunning that it took 11 years and a lot of, a lot of families of first responders fighting very hard to get these cancers covered. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of them have already lost their lives, but there are a lot of them still battling with cancer. So we wish them well, and we hope that this finally, yeah. they will get coverage. They'll get medical coverage for this because yeah. it's something that's absolutely necessary. And the tributes that are going on around the city today are all so beautiful. Yeah, they're really... Beautiful, beautiful tributes. Yeah. You, you lost a friend recently, too. You know, yes, yeah, so some of you guys may have heard about this in the news, that we lost Michael Clark Duncan. Yes, his... Uh, actually, such a talented actor. His uh, funeral services were actually yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, such a good friend of mine. And it, every time I saw Michael, here's, the, here's where I went wrong in the friendship. Let me own this. <laughs> every time I saw him him, we always left about the one time we were hanging out when he received the script for the Green Mile. Here's my advice to him. Don't do that uh, thing. That don't even sound like it's going to be good. What is a green <laughs> mile? And now Wait when everyone says his name, they go, Academy Award nominee for the green mile. You told him not, not to, to do, do the it. green mile. Don't do it. And he's like, I'm so glad I didn't listen to you. I said, me too. <laughs> that is great. Me too. It's funny. I have a friend uh, named Jake Shears who has a band called the Scissor Sisters. And I knew you. Oh, all right. Sisters. And uh, they've got a song right now called Let's Have a Kiki. It's like number one on the dance charts. And um, anyway, years ago, before he had this band, I was friends with him, and he would always sing. And I kept saying to him, you know what? The singing's really annoying. You, you, gotta, you gotta just buckle down and get a job. <laughs> You, you know, just stop with the singing. It's not going to go anywhere. And they've had, like, the number one album in England. And so nobody listen to our advice. Do not listen advice. to us for advice, yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I'll tell you another thing about that, too, that I'm inspired to do, and that is his fiance Amarosa. Some of you guys know her from The Apprentice. Well, when Amarosa he, is his was his, his was his fiance. That. Yes, and when he had his first heart attack, she actually saved him by performing CPR. Now, wow. it inspired me to actually learn. How many people in here know CPR? 
Yeah. That's not a, that's not enough. Yeah, to we feel, all should. Listen, I want all y'all rushing this way if something happened to me. <laughs> but I want to be able. Do you know CPR? I do know CPR. Yeah. I do. Okay. Well, I wanna I wanna learn. So. Uh, I'm talking to this group over here right now. When the producers the show, over here. The producers over here. When you do the show on medical wellness and how to get it together, call me back because I well, want to learn wanna, And we want to do a lot on heart disease this year because, you know, Rosie uh, had, had a heart attack, she says, and my dad passed away of a heart attack at 50. So it's something I've been conscious of for a long time. So well, there it is. We'll, we'll, we'll do a show on it. Yes, we'll have and you I, on. We'll I need to it. learn that. Yeah, definitely. There is a video that if you have not seen this, and a lot of moms out there I think are gonna understand the, the sentiment behind this video. I'm getting this, excited. This is a, oh, we got some slurpees. Kevin, come out. Nisi, you wanted a slurpee, here oh, we go. Oh yes, thank you. You got a chocolate or a No, I think I got Coca-Cola. A Coca-Cola, all right. A slurpee and coffee. I'm doing big things right now, people. It's about to be a party. Yeah, Kristen Chenoweth brought us a slurpee machine yesterday if you didn't see the show, so we have it for all week. I think we got to send it back, though. Okay, um, the video. I'm about to right, get excited video. about this. This is a mom who apparently every year she does a happy dance when her kids go to school for the first time. <laughs> and, and as soon as she puts them on the school bus, she does this happy dance. So watch this. <laughs> now what I, what I love about this can you can you imagine how embarrassed her kids must be getting on that bus I mean it's embarrassing enough to have your mom waiting for you while you get on the bus but to have your mom be out dancing while the now, bus is going by listen I am a firm believer that you should celebrate the first day of school. You absolutely she should. She is now, celebrating. When, she just keeps going on and on. Now, different from me, when my kids were little and it was the first day of school, uh, me and my then husband would take off from work and stay at home uh, all day naked. Is that right? <laughs> that was the plan. Right. That was just the way it was going down in a celebratory sort of a situation. Uh -huh. We also, uh, I think actually we have, uh, Tracy uh, is joining us from Skype. She lives in uh, Framingham, Massachusetts. Tracy, how's it going? Hi, honey. Well, well no, I can't hear you in the studio. Can you pump it up here in the studio? Do you hear me, Tracy? I can hear you. Oh, I can All right, hear you I think we now. can hear you. So do you, how long have you been doing this happy dance for? Years. And, and do your kids get incredibly embarrassed? Not at all. Well, that's what they tell you, but are you sure? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. They're not embarrassed at all. They love it. All right, now, so what do you do once they're out of the house? That's what um, I, I want to know. I come in and sit for about 10 minutes, and then I start cleaning my house. That's <laughs> it? Where are the martinis, girl? I don't drink alcohol. I hear you. I really, I really don't drink much either. Uh, well, listen, Tracy, I'm glad uh, the kids are out of the house. I'm glad you have some time to yourself, and I wish you the best in, in the new year. All right. Well, the other, the other big story that we want to get to is yesterday on the show, Sunday, I don't know if you saw this in the paper, it was on the front page of every, basically every paper in the United States, President Obama went to visit um, oh, a yeah. guy at a pizza parlor uh, who owns this pizza parlor. His name was Scott Van Duzer. He, Scott bear hugged the president. Who does that? Right. We had him. We had him on the show yesterday. We had some technical problems, so we invited him to come on up. And Scott is here now. Scott, can you come on out? Are you here? We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Come on. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Do you know Lucy? How are you? Hi, honey. I'm just glad you picked him up and not me. That's wonderful. Yeah. That can be real done real quickly, though. Oh, so, yeah, Scott, no. I'm okay. I got to ask, when I saw that, was the Secret Service freaking out? Um, they didn't, first of all, the, the question is they didn't know what was going to happen because I didn't know I was going to do that. You didn't know? No. Okay. He, he came to my front door uh -huh. and he busted open like Chuck Norris. And he, goes, <laughs> he goes, where's Scott? Uh -huh. And I go, right here, sir. And uh -huh. he, I put my hand out and uh -huh. he shook it and he goes, my God, look at those biceps. And uh -huh. then we just started joking around. Right. And 
Next minute, we did the Anderson. Is that he, was just a stepping stone <laughs> to get to you. Uh, <laughs> is he heavy? No. no. Uh, the, other, the other thing, and a serious thing I got to point out is, you're a Republican, right? I am. But you have been getting criticism online from folks who are saying, I'm not going to go to your pizza parlor because you did this oh. with the president. I mean, that's just crazy. That's very, horrible. Very because safe. you know what? It speaks to the fact that we can't agree to disagree and still right. be kind. Yeah, and you know, the funny thing is, right. they say Obama's bad for small business, but right. now here the Republicans want to run this small business right. out. Well, and also, we should point out, he came to your pizza parlor, not just because you do good pizza, because you do a lot of stuff with blood drives, right? We, we have a foundation that we have for the last four years, and it's very important. The, the blood statistics are horrible, and we're trying to raise awareness. We had the largest blood drive last year. We collected 1,352 units in a day. Wow. That's right. So proud That's right. Of you. You. And I'm going to tell you what. I, I am openly... A Democrat, maybe I should pick you up. Would, oh, that, would that help? <laughs> All right, we're going to oh, take no, a break. We'll it. see if you can do it. <laughs> and we'll be back with Scott and more. Our surprise guest, a lot more. Jacqueline, we'll wait stay tuned.